Fig played a uh, pretty determined uh, game today. You know, I don't know how you felt about the fifth playoff seed, but you got it. So. Yeah. No, I look, I thought that wasn't, you know, we wanted to finish fifth. I mean, that was our goal. But we know every game from here forth is, is hard, just like it was tonight. It was hard. It was a battle. You know, the first half was, uh, you know, a little bit of free throw. Uh, show out there on both ends, but I thought in the second half we, we kept this team who scores a lot of points, uh, 27 points, that's fantastic for us, uh, fast breaks, we had one point, Mount on murder for a team like Atlanta that loves to get out and run, so I thought we, you know, we did a good job executing the scout, exactly what we wanted to, and that's important for, you know, I mean, definitely for the playoffs, you know, every little possession counts for us, we took care of the ball again, uh, you know, great, I mean, you know, overall good game, uh, you know, it was good for us. They three-quarter fronted a little bit, so we had to work on that, and, and that helped us. You know, that's going to be great for us moving forward because the team's going to do that for BG. And once again, I mean, BG, I'm not going to say, greatest player in the world, in my opinion. <laughs> Seemed like Leilani was very aggressive tonight. Was that part of the game plan going in? Yes, no, definitely. That's been a part of her game plan all season long, so okay. it's, you know, just reminding her that, you know, such a good little player that she is, and she really helps us just control the tempo. Um, you know, play calling's very good. Her defense has really improved over the season, I thought. Uh, so she's a real key to our cog, but her being aggressive, she's really good at getting seams and finishes well for a small player around the rim as well, but also passes well out of it. So it's good to see her getting back to her true identity, because sometimes, you know, she kind of lost who she was during the season, um, and her being aggressive is exactly what we want. Okay. You said uh, she's the best player in the world, but this was their sixth 30-point game. She won the league scoring title, um, and even with the injury, you know, she's finishing strong. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's what I say. It's no disrespect to the other players because they're great. Um, and maybe I just get to see BG day in, day out. But just for me, what she has to do, I mean, she has to, you know, obviously, she carries this team. You know, she's a playmaker. She's not just a scorer. And we put a, a lot of emphasis on her and the, on the offense here and, and what she does and, you know, how she changes at both ends of the floor. And, I mean, you know, I'm sure... Um, you know, Cheryl Reed's going to say Fowles is the best player in the world, and, and I think that's great too. I think she's, she's she's right up there as well. I mean, there's, you know, Candace Park is playing great. I mean, so many great players. But I suppose I get to see Brittany day in, day out. And, um, just what she does for our team, you know, she is our most valuable player. You had eight uh, team assists today, and Brian has finished with 30 points. Would you speak on her one-on-one -on -one play? Yeah, been, uh, well, we had 16 team. assists. They had eight assists. But, um, uh, you know, for us, you know, us is just getting the ball into the She finishes plays for us. So, it's good. Diana started off a little slow and missing some shots, so, but if you have an inside attack, it certainly helps on the outside and loosen it up as the game goes on. Um, you know, it's hard to remember to just shoot a little outside, but it's all gritty. Her game is developed on the outside as well. We have cheap these players with shoot face the basket. That's what she's been able to do this year, and that's why, you know, her, her evolution is she's going to continue to do it. She's going to get better with more experience because she's young and big players take longer to develop. And, um, but look, I think we're... I think we're unselfish too. We still like playing out of it. We, you know, it's near the end, you know, we'll penetrate and we'll find the open shooter and we made plays. And that's what you want. We don't want to get too one dimensional just passing into her, but we know that's the focus on our offense, but we still have to be aggressive on the, on the pass out and, you know, still ball play, which is what I preach. It seems like you guys have found your stride the last three games. What has been the biggest difference between earlier in the season and these past three games? Well, I think in early in the season, I thought we were still getting used for each other, although, you know, until Brittany got injured, we were 11 and 6, so it was pretty good for us. You know, we struggled when Brittany was out. I mean, it just shows you how important she is to our team, you know. I always say you take fouls out of Minnesota, I think they do some games too. I mean, True. just because of the dominance of those players. Um, you know, and then it's getting Brittany back. We played a lot of the best teams. That so was a good indication of where we're at, what we need to work on. And then we made some changes to the lineup, and I thought that certainly helped us. I think we have much better balance in our rotations now uh, that's really complement each other. Uh, but look, it's more about, you know, picking at the right time. I think we're playing well, but we can't rest on our laurels, so to speak, because we know Seattle, we've had tough games against them. Uh, we have to come ready to play. Uh, they're, they're, and they're a great team. They've got some great players, and it's more about us focusing and playing, you know, doing the 1% as well, and that's what we've been preaching, you know, do those little things well, and hopefully the process, you know, the result will come by doing the little things well. Did you sort of feel like Seattle or Dallas was kind of a coin toss? Yeah, did, did, I mean, they're both good teams. Yeah. Both good teams, a little different. Obviously, Seattle is, uh, you know, obviously you got Lloyd there, and you've got Stewie, and you've got, you know, the greatest assist to player in, in, in the history of the game. Uh, whereas in Dallas, a little different, probably a little bit like... Uh, it's probably a little bit like Atlanta, you could say. Just their, their athleticism, their aggressiveness, physicality, uh, you would say. So, look, you know, we have to, you have to go in and 
and beat whoever you're going to play. So it really didn't matter for us. Getting the fifth seed probably mattered more to us than who we're going to play.